Hey y'all, it's Zach, the legal tech advisor here at Lawyerist. A little while back, I was joined by Matt Spiegel, the president and CEO of Lawmatics. Um, for the uninitiated, Lawmatics is a client resource manager specifically for law firms. And in our interview, we spoke about the new client portal that Lawmatics released about mid last year, and then some of the additions that they've had since that release. Take a look as Matt leads me through some of their newer features and their client portal. Great, yeah. So, I mean, one of the one of the things that we've been focused on um, for for a few months now um, is the idea of the Lawmatics client portal, right? Mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, to us, client portal is uh, kind of critical, maybe more critical to what we do than it is to any other part of the client journey. Yeah. Right. And for us, yeah. for us, um, for us, we are a client relationship management tool, right? Like we are helping you manage every aspect of your relationship with your client. Um, that seems like client portal would be pretty critical to that managing of that relationship. Right. Right. So, Creating a, a way to share things to, um, you know, communicate securely, all of that. Absolutely. Yeah. And like, you know, our, our big thing is, is being able to, deliver the right engagement to your client at the right time, things that you need to get from them, but deliver it to them in a way that they want it to be delivered, right? Like speaking yeah. to them in, in the medium that they want to be spoken to. Yeah. And up to this point, we've had email, we've had text messaging, but what we haven't had is the ability for them just to go into one central place to log in somewhere get that mm -hmm. feeling of security and be able to have access to all the things that the lawyer needs or the communications that the lawyer provides. Right. Mm -hmm. So a few months ago, we launched the Lawmatics client portal, which was designed to alleviate that and give clients a place where they can log in and they could see things like documents that have been sent out for e-signature um, tasks that they need to complete events that they need to attend um, you know, files that they need to upload um, you know, the ability to see any files that have been uploaded by their lawyer into their matter. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we released that and, and to much success, right? This has been one of the most quickly adopted features inside of Lawmatics since, mm -hmm. since, we, since we launched about four years ago, a little less than four years ago. And so um, now we're really excited because we've made this significantly better already. Right. Right, um, right. And so what we've done is we've now added the ability to do messaging inside of the platform. And again, to us, this is so foundational and core to what we do as a company. Um, this is all about the engagement and the relationship and to give customers a secure way to communicate with their lawyer out of the box. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Inside of the system that they're using, um, we think is just something that um, that is is critical to our customers and that. Um, is really critical to, to the foundation that we built at Lawmatics and to our, to our mission statement, to our purpose. So um, I'd love to walk you through a little bit on how the client portal works. Yeah, that'd be great. And I can show you. So basically what, what's really important to understand in Lawmatics with the client portal is that you, can, you distinctly can give access to somebody, right? So you have to make the conscious choice whether you want to give them access to the client portal or not. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely don't want you accidentally giving access to somebody. So we make it a very conscious decision. So you can see here that I have, I have been given client portal access for this matter that I have here. And so I get access to log in and this is what my client portal looks like. I can see my dashboard, any files that I have, my calendar, forms that have been shared with me to fill out, and then messages, right? Mm -hmm. And so what happens here is anything that I, that I create. So if I were to come in here and create a task, and I said, you know, please review the docs that I sent. And I'm going to uh, put a due date here of the 22nd. And I'm going to share it. I'm going to assign this task to Matt Spiegel, the client. It's kind of confusing because I'm Matt Spiegel, the lawyer in here as well. <laughs> but but this, this email address of Matt plus lawyerist at lawmatics.com, right? Um, I'm going to say, right. I sent you... And, and to clarify, to this, what we're looking at here is what the lawyer sees. This is what the lawyer sees, right? And so, and a lot of times what you have to understand is our client portal, what makes, another thing that makes the Lawmatics client portal very unique is it's totally intertwined 
into our automation platform, right? Mm -hmm. Our automation platform is, you know, that is what Lawmatics is all about, the automation and all of the actions, sharing items with people in the client portal, even inviting a new client to the client portal can be done through our automation platform. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't actually have to do anything manually. I'm doing, I'm showing you an example here because it's easier to do it manually, but a lot of times these tasks are, are created and triggered through an automation as well. But let's just say I have this task here and I'm assigning it to this client. I hit create task. It's going to create it for me right here. And if I were to come over to the client portal and just take a quick refresh, you can see that there's the task that's assigned to me, mm -hmm. right? I'll be noted, you know, as a client, I'll be notified about this task separately, but I can also, I will also be able to log in and see this task. And since it was assigned to me, I can actually open this up and I can actually mark this task as complete when I've completed it. Right. Okay. And then that, yep. that would, that can let the lawyer know on, on, uh, on the lawmatic side that this person has completed a task or perhaps as a lawyer, you have other tasks that need to be sent once this task is completed and the system can automatically generate all those tasks. That's exactly what I was going to ask right. was if a trick, if that checking that off was a triggering event for the automations. Yes, it can be right. Mm -hmm. So if this, if this, if this task here, if we actually tagged it, so let's say we tag it with lawyerist, right? That's our new tag called mm -hmm. lawyerist. And so now I can go into an automation and I can say, if a task with the tag lawyerist is marked as complete, now I want to send another task, mm -hmm. right? And so this is how you can just chain tasks together and have this whole automated workflow that is now shared with the client in the client portal, given to them to complete, right? Mm -hmm. In their own sort of software that they get. Right. So we it's you can very set powerful. up an entire an entire intake that is just automated through that has the client come in or the potential new client come in and engage with that entire intake inside the the uh, client portal. Correct. And all all of that can just be automated, and then all of a sudden you've got they've signed documents, they've uploaded uh, files, they've done certain tasks, and they've filled out certain forms, and then you are told, hey, this person's done. This person yep. set. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's it's you know the idea of just moving the client portal up in the relationship, right? Traditionally in 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 law in the legal space, the client portal has been reserved for those people that hire you, right? Um, no one's ever really thought like, oh wait, I could use a client portal for leads too. Well, there's of course you can. And so right. we just sort of move we're, we've just sort of taken it and moving the, you know, we've moved the first point of engagement in the client portal forward in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, which is great. Right, the, the the quicker you can get them into a client portal and engaging with you, I think the better chance you have at at landing that client. Right, because you're showing you're showing your skills as a communicator. You're showing your skills as a customer service agent. Right, you're showing your you're showing that you're a law firm that cares about the customer experience, not just the outcome of the case. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of like our whole thing with the path to delightment is this idea that like it's more than about the outcome of the case. It's about the service that you provide and, and, you know, and, and the bedside manner and the communication skills and everything. Right. So having this type of portal just allows you to really go that extra mile um, using our platform. Mm -hmm. The big thing that, you know, what we launched now, which is really powerful is, is this messaging functionality. And the idea behind it is so you can see here, I don't have any messages yet. So in order to initiate a message, it first has to come from my lawyer. And so if my lawyer comes in, um, it comes over here to, let me see the name of this case is lawyer's test matter. So if I come in here to messages and I go to a new message thread, right, and we will pick our matter and we only have one participant. And for clarity, that's the Matt Spiegel client. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Right, so if we just want to send them a message now, this is designed to just replace email, right? Yeah. Like, because now this is all contained in Lawmatics. It's in your one central kind of central source of truth and it's secure, right? It's all inside of our platform. It's encrypted. You don't have to worry about, you know, prying eyes on emails and things like that. Mm -hmm. And what's beauty of it is it's instantaneous. So as soon as I hit send message, it's already here, right? It's, it's real time. It's mm -hmm. almost like, it's almost like a chat but it's formatted like email. So it's threaded, right? It's not yeah. just like 
a single conversation, you can break them up into multiple threads. Um, and so now I can come in here and just say, I am doing great. Thanks for checking in. And I hit reply. And then I come back over here and, oops, clicked on the wrong button, sorry. Come in here and there it is, right, my reply. So you can see this is just a really powerful communication tool that may seem pretty trivial to a lot of people, but it's not, right? And and as a right. as a you know as a lawyer, it's really important. I always used to you know, gosh, back in the my case days when we were pitching the client portal there, and we were we were inventing the client portal really, and we were talking to people about how, you know, email is not a secure way to communicate, right? And I used to I used to use an analogy that it is. Email is akin to a postcard written in pencil, uh, meaning that as soon as I send it out, it goes through a lot of hands before it gets to that person. And it's written in pencil. Someone can just erase a word and put in a different word, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and email, even though you think that it's very, very secure, is absolutely not, right? right. And so right. by keeping the communication internal like this, you're keeping it 100% secure. And what we do is we notify you via email that you have a new message but we don't put the body of the message inside of that email. So as not to just completely compromise what we just discussed. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And, and we see that with, with messages that are, that are quote unquote HIPAA compliant, um, you know, where the message comes in and says, please log into your portal in order to see this. Um, and, and this also solves the problem of what email, um, what email server, what email provider is my client using? If my client is using, you know, at gmail.com, a free service, even if mine, even if my service is good and, and paid for, and I send something encrypted, who, who knows where it goes once it leaves your office. And so this gives you a lot more control over the entire communication. It does completely. Yep. Um, and, and I think like, again, you know, we actually, this came up in a, in a, in a conversation we were having with a lawyer recently about, you know, just keeping all communications in one place. Right. And this mm -hmm. is a hard thing for lawyers, right. Is they have, you know, this, an email with this person, an email, you know, then this other person has an email with the client, everything is kind of disjointed and, and scattered. Um, and just keeping it all really, really organized and obviously secure is just really critical. So yeah, client portal is really important to us. Um, we've put a lot, you know, you can tell, um, that in the short time since we've released, we've added a lot to it. Um, right. And there's a, there's a lot more to come um, in the client portal as well. That's great to hear. It well, will Matthew, continue to be a focal point for us. And, and I think that fits the, uh, the lawmatics dynamic there of making sure that communications is at the forefront. Um, it's a, you know, like you said, a, a client communication device, essentially. And so, um, well, Matt, thanks for showing me around. Uh, this looks great. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what else comes out of this, because I, I know that you guys are focusing on that and, and uh, really uh, starting to lead the way. Yeah, thank you. So that's it for my interview with Matt Spiegel of Lawmatics. If you'd like to learn more about their product, you can always visit our review of Lawmatics at lawyers.com forward slash reviews forward slash Lawmatics. So I hope that helps. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time around the lawyer's ecosystem.